Welcome to Allen Sports. This video is designed to help you safely and properly assemble and install the Allen Sports MT1 and MT2 rack. Before getting started, please carefully read the instruction manual and all safety warning labels before using the rack. To begin setting up your rack, start with rack in a folded position, rotate tie-down arms, and fully extend bottom foot. Rotate both top feet down by 90 degrees to open fully engaged pins. Rotate carry arms into an upright position, fully engaging pop-up pins. For MT2 rack, release the pop-up pins on front feet and extend the carry arms, making certain that pop-up pins are fully engaged when arms are in extended position. Before installing rack onto vehicle, make sure that contact surfaces between car and rubber feet are thoroughly clean and free of dirt. Make sure that all buckles are threaded. Inspect all straps to make sure they are not worn or damaged. You can now install the rack onto your vehicle. Top hooks must be completely hooked over metal edges at top of trunk, rear door, or hatchback. Set the length of straps to position rack with its carry arms inclined slightly upwards. Hook bottom hooks to a metal edge below the bumper or at the bottom of the rear door. Tighten bottom straps by pulling on the free ends of the straps until elastic portion of straps are stretched. If there is no metal edge below bumper for attachment of hooks, there are two alternatives. One, remove bottom strap from bottom strap bracket and thread bottom strap through slot and spine cover. Attach hook to lower edge of trunk rear hatch. Tighten bottom strap. Two, before installing rack on vehicle, remove bottom straps. Open trunk slightly and place bottom hooks just inside of trunk hatch. Carefully close trunk on bottom strap. Pull straps to bring hooks against the inside of trunk. Mount rack onto car and rethread bottom straps. For the MT2 rack, once the bottom strap is in place, you should install the left and right side straps. It is very important you use the correct straps. The side straps are the straps with small metal hooks that are labeled side straps. These straps should be attached to the right and left side of the trunk rear door. Once the rack is safely assembled and installed, you can now load your bicycle. Remove all loose items from bicycles and check that all quick release hubs are tight. Load first bicycle into the first tie down position with its chain and gears facing away from the rack. Thread straps. Pull strap tight. Load subsequent bicycles in alternate directions. After all bikes are loaded, check that entire rack is secure and that the rack is firmly in place. For installing women's style frames, place one carry arm under front top tube. For other carry arm, rotate tie down cradle and place carry arm in space behind seat tube and below rear downstay. Now that your bikes are all mounted and secure, you're ready to head on your adventure. Once your adventure is complete, you can remove and store your rack for later use. To fold the rack for storage, collapse the extended arms by pressing the pop-up pins in front of the carry arms and pushing the arms inward. Collapse the carry arms by pressing the pop-up pins in the center back of the rack and folding the arms downward. Fold the bottom feet upwards 90 degrees. Rotate tie-down arms. Check us out at allensportsusa.com for more information, parts, and new products. Thank you and we'll see you out there.